All righty. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our another exciting edition of the MLS Band Show here on Ben Me and Network. I'm Jan Boker. It is great to have you with us here. And of course, joining me is my co host, as always, Mamadou Jallo. How are you doing, Mamadou? Yeah, hey, I'm good. I'm good, Jan. Thanks for having me once again. How's everybody doing? Thank you all for joining our show. All right. Now, before we get to the, uh, the big story there, we wanted to congratulate both the U.S. women's national team for winning the bronze medal in the Tokyo Olympics and also the Canadian women's national team for winning gold for the first time ever in the 2020 Olympics. And of course, let's not forget the U.S. men's national team on winning the gold cup in Las Vegas in extra time. Yeah. Boy, what a match it was there. All right. Now. The big story that we've been all been waiting for. Messi, Lionel Messi, is joining PSG. After 17 years of being involved with Barcelona and so many memories have been been made, this is the end of an era for Barcelona as Lionel Messi joining on a two-year contract to PSG. And, of course, he will be wearing number 30. Why? Because he won't wear, you know, the same number as Neymar there, but who knows? But you know, I gotta say, Mamadou, uh, the way that I heard this news, it's it's kind of like, you know, an absolute well, not like a bit of a shy, but it's more like that, you know, it's, you know, probably you know, the end for Lionel Messi in Barcelona. I mean, <laughs> I'm still shocked, Jan. It's, a, it's more than a bit of a shock to me. Um, it's one of those news that it feels very surreal, even though it's, like, happening. And this moment is taking, it's taking place right now. Um, it's still, like, it, it's so hard for me to put into words, but I try my best here. Um, it's just that... As Lionel Messi um, is a staple of a club, of a team, of a uh, of an whole organization, you cannot think Barcelona without thinking Messi. It's impossible. Um, and just so, just for the whole thing, how it went down, and for the situation that it happened under, um, it 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 just it caught everyone by, off guard because. Everybody heard the news. He resigned. He took less money just because he wanted to stay there. His family wanted to stay there. He felt comfortable there. Um, there's a new um, owners and everything like that to make everything easier. So, um, you know, he decided to come back and he wanted to stay. Unlike last year when he wanted to leave. Um, but this year he wanted to stay. Um, come to find out the club is in more debt than they realize. And they couldn't sign him. They ended up signing other new people, but they couldn't resign him to fit in those um and within the um the the margin of the club. So it's it's shocking to me. I can't believe it. PSG had the money and space to get him, but still seeing Messi in a PSG shirt in a jersey still doesn't look right. I don't think any team he can put on if it's not a Barcelona jersey he will look right on uh, and a Argentina jersey. Um it's just I, I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I'm um I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I just can't believe Barcelona can could let this happen in the first place, you know. Um it's very it's it's tragic for their fans because I know they're very sad and this one's gonna hurt because uh, Messi, like I said, Messi here that uh, Messi is a one in a generational type of talent and player that um, when you have you want to keep on your team, especially if he wants to stay. You know, you don't want anything in this type of situation to happen. Whereas his finances from previous owner, um, uh, previous owner that you know that messed up the whole situation you know it's one thing if Messi wanted to leave but he didn't um he wanted to stay um but the other reason um that happened is because the, the previous owners messed it up 
the previous owners messed up the money and they messed up um, the organization. So now the new regime is suffering from that. So um, to sum it all up, I'm still shocked. I'm still in disbelief. And for me, it won't be real until I see him playing in a PSG game. That still probably won't be real to me, to be honest. Yeah. Messi and Barca were just intertwined. And I never thought I'll see the day where they will be separated. You know, even last year when he was trying to leave, I still was like, nah, Barca was not, it's never going to let him go. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, like we hear his press conferences. This is a quote that he said. Of course, he said, "Me and my family were convinced we were going to stay. It is what we wanted more than anything." I felt very sad as I had to leave this club, a club I love, in a moment I did not expect. We did everything we could because I wanted to stay. Last mm-hmm. year I didn't want to stay. This year I did. I thought it was all sorted, all agreed. Then at the last moment. It was not possible due to La Liga's issue. This is what happened. So, I mean, I mean, how could this affect, you know, not only Barcelona, but also for La Liga? I mean, I feel like the La Liga, La Liga wouldn't let them was an excuse, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, I felt like it was an excuse. La Liga wouldn't let them because they don't have the finances. La Liga is not going to stop a team from um, signing their top player, especially Messi, for no reason. There's got to be a certain reason why La Liga won't let them. So I feel like they're using La Liga as a scapegoat. But the main issue is Barcelona. And, yeah, just with that coat is so powerful, Jan, the coat that you just read, because, I mean, just if you decrypt it, it's talking about how this they were convinced. So imagine, like knowing, okay, this is the sp- this is the place. This is where I'm gonna be. And he didn't come to find out until he went in to go resign his new deal. Excuse me. Um, until he went to resign his new deal. Um, that's when he found out. And um, for that type of news to be delivered that way, there is no best way to deliver it. Um, so I guess they wanted to tell him in person, but. To think one way that, hey, I'm about to resign, I'm about to stay here, my family's staying where they're comfortable. Then all of a sudden, a whole nother um, 180 turn, you go in there and then you find out, boom, it's not happening. We want to sign you as badly as Lord knows what, but we can't sign you. We literally cannot sign you. And it's just, it's very tragic. Very tragic. I feel for Messi, first and foremost, and his family, because I know he has kids, too, who are comfortable, but but I did not have to get up and move to a whole different country with a whole different language. And, um, yeah, so hopefully um, his family adjusts well and um, they get used to France. But, yeah, that that code is very powerful to me, especially given the fact that, you know, he was ready to resign, he wasn't ready to leave, and he wanted to come back. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, hopefully things will, you know, sell things down there for Barcelona. And hopefully things, like, you know, change very well there as well. So we'll see how Barcelona could take care of things there. And, of course, for Messi being involved in PSG. So my question is, how would PSG line up with Messi being involved? Of course, you got, like, some some good players there as well, you know, like you got Neymar, you got Kylian Mbappe, mm. like up top, and of course you got like some other players there as well. Yeah, so PSG now, let's talk about the, the game aspect. PSG now has like a whole FIFA lineup, you know, where you take the best plays and kind of put them on there. Um, the one thing is that there's one ball and they all have to find out how to benefit of each other. Everything looks great on paper, Jan. Everything looks great on paper. But um, you and I both know that it takes more than paper to win a soccer game. Um, so they have to they have to figure that out. They really have to figure that out. Messi, 
make Messi likes to hold on to the ball, create, look for those open spaces so he can play the ball through. Um, he sees a dribble run. He makes that. Um, and we know by Neymar's game, hold on to the ball, hold on to the ball, dribble, dribble. Um, he loves to dribble um, and create when it's there as well. But mostly he likes dribbling and then creating. Whereas Messi is, he dribbles to create. Um, uh, where Neymar is more of like a showmanship, you know, he's trying to show his skills and do one thing and another. And Mbappe is uh, a man of speed, you know, just might as well just call him Flash. Um, just give him the ball and he goes and he just takes, he uses his speed and he goes. So I feel like Mbappe will benefit the most off on uh, Messi because Messi can find him, Messi can play those balls. He can even overplay the balls and Mbappe will find it. You know, so that would be that would be good in that scenario for Bappe, but it's gonna be very, very interesting to see how uh Messi and Neymar work together. Excuse me, uh Messi and Neymar work together because like I said, they both need the ball at their feet. They both they both need the ball at their feet to create what they have to create for the game. So that's gonna be very interesting to watch and see. So uh, we gotta stay tuned in to see what happens with that. The Pochettino, Pochettino has a whole lot of work to do to see um, how to make those guys play it, play together, um, play well together, and uh, figure it out from there. Because that's the goal um, for them to play well together. Because that's the only way they're gonna end up winning. One person cannot do their thing; the other person cannot try to do their own thing. They have to make it all click together so that's a very good that's gonna be a very interesting thing to watch and see how they work with that all season yeah absolutely and of course what's more interesting is is that of course Messi will have a two-year contract with PSG which will give him 41 million dollars per season and of course the contract also contemplates with an option of third year but of course this is a big contract for any player especially for a forward who is already 34 years old. And I believe that PSG will feel that money that will be well spent if Messi can take the club into the promised land, which is, of course, the uh, UEFA Champions League trophy. Now, do you think that, of course, with Messi now joining PSG, do you think that PSG are the favorites to you know, win the Champions League? Um, well, um, first of all, to touch on your point about the money, that money is going to be, they're going to get that back in, 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 hurry, um, because, you know, a lot of masters are going to come to the game. A lot more are going to come to the game because now yeah. arguably you can have the best show of football in the world, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe. Um, not to forget Di Maria coming off the bench. Um, not to forget Varadi is there as well. Sergio Ramos just won there as well. Oh, so yeah. they they have a whole lot of guns out there. Um, but to answer your question, certainly on paper they look like it, right? They look like they could be the team that can win it all on paper. Um, but like I said, you just never know. Can Messi help them win the Champions League? He can. Um, he can definitely help them win the championship. And are they the favorites now? Um, are they the favorites? I'm trying to think here. They, I don't know. I just, I, it's for me, it's, it's hard to say that because of the playing styles. They play, their playing styles are so different. Um, and also the same. And in a certain way that the fact that they both need the ball, that is really going to be very interesting for me to, like, see. I have to watch it and see how to play well together. I'll be able to give you an answer two, three weeks in their season of them, Neymar and Messi playing together. Because after watching it, you'll be able to tell, okay, can this coexist for a long time? Or is this going to be something that's going to, um, hit the boiling point, and then boom, somebody's going to get mad. Somebody's going to be in their feelings and not going to play up to par. So um, this is something we'll just have to keep an eye on and watch. But certainly, certainly, um, in a lot of people's eyes, they're, 
they're the favorites to win the Champions League. But for me, I like to be hesitant and just wait on that and see. And, and you know, Man City is still there. Defending champions, Chelsea is there, getting better with the signing, signing of Lukaku. Um, Real Madrid is there. Bayern is going to come back stronger. Um, so all of these teams are going to come back reloaded. But certainly PSG, definitely. Um, with the signings they made, they they definitely are ready for that run. Yeah, absolutely they are. But, uh, like, it's strange to me that, of course, that with these three players, I think that they might have a shot at winning this. But you got, like, some other English teams, of course, you know, like Chelsea and Manchester City involved there. Of course, with some Spanish teams like Real Madrid it involved there. Um, but I was thinking, like, in my mind, like, probably, like, last season, like, when Messi was about to leave, there were, like, yeah. rumors involved that he might go to, like, Manchester City involved as well. Yeah. But good thing he stayed for, like, a season there. And hopefully they don't even know what to do next year. And now he's going to PSG. And you're thinking about two years, $41 million contract with an option of a third year. And that's going to be interesting to see – what Messi can do with PSG. And, you know, just like you said, you never know what to expect there. Yeah. Well. Mm-hmm. That, that Man City, that Man City uh, situation is funny because in my eyes, I feel like if Messi had uh, a clear option, he would have cho- chose City. But if you can remember, City signed Jack Grealish oh, the yeah. week before for $100 million. So, they were restricted financially, so they really could not have signed Messi if they wanted to. So I know City, especially Pep, being a huge advocate for Messi. Um, um, he was there when Messi was, you know, blossoming and becoming the best player that he was. Excuse me, best player he, that he's becoming now, that he became now. Pep was there for the start, so I'm sure Pep wanted Messi. But just the fact that, like I mentioned, the, the signing of Grealish the week before um, that kind of messed up their plans with having to sign Messi this year. So I'm sure I'm sure that um, that, you know, made both sides, Messi and Pep, a little bit, you know, sad. But Grealish is a great player as well. But um, but yeah, two years. Let's see what happens in those two years. Um, I feel like he put those two years just to see what he can prove out there in the French uh, in in the French world uh, with PSG and in the Champions League, so we'll see how that goes. And then after that, who knows what what he might decide to do from there. But um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be very interesting for me. I just I'm just in a whole total shock. I never thought I'd see this day where Messi will be wearing a different color apart from Barca's color. Yeah. And, of course, European football is going to come back, like, in a few weeks. So, we'll see how everything goes there for, like, many leagues there in Europe there. Well, Mavadu, thank you so much for being with me to talk about, yeah. of course, the discussion that we had with Messi with PSG there. It'll be interesting to see there what was really happening there. But, of course, we're still in a bit of a shock that PSG – that. Lionel Messi is going to PSG. He wanted to stay with Barcelona until probably he retired, but nah, he, he's going to PSG there as well there. So thank you so yeah. much there, Mavadou. Anytime, yeah, anytime. This was great. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, do it again. Yep. And that is it for another exciting edition of the MLS Fan Show there. If you guys want to tune into any other videos here of the MLS Fan Show, make sure you go online to fanmedianetwork.com. And of course, if you want to see the full version of the show, make sure you go online to my YouTube channel, which is Bunker On Air. And of course, if you miss any of these episodes there, now is your chance to tune in to either on Fan Media Network for the edited version, and of course, my YouTube channel, Bunker On Air, for the full version as well. So, for me, Jan Bunker. Hey, for Mama Dijalo. And of course, as always, we can't wait to tune in to our another episode of the MLS Fan Show there. We'll see you then, guys. Take care, you guys.
Take care. To host a fan show or appear as a fan on a fan show, simply create a profile on Fan Media's iOS app or website. Select your teams and make a short intro video on your phone. Show hosts, reporters, former players, and super fans can use our Get Verified feature and make an intro video as well. And our mobile newsroom staff will reach out.